a lot of people in America and Canada, especially students and work permit holders who do not wish to continue living in the U.S. and Canada, they are wondering if they can go back to India. They have Indian passports and they would like to return to India so that they can spend more time with their parents. And now we have this announcement from the government of India that they will be organizing some flights from many countries, including from U.S. I didn't see any from, from Canada yet, but including from U.S. that will take them from U.S. to India. Let's take a look. Uh, it is uh, telling me on Times of India, I think this was yesterday, 12,000 to rupees, one lakh, that much amount of money Indians will have to need to pay to fly back home. Let's dive in. And we got some, uh, uh, many are from Middle East. Uh, you can see from Mogadi, Dubai, Doha, Bari, Kuwait, Basket, Kuala Lumpur, Sharjah, uh, etc. And uh, let's take a look at what are the fares of one way. Uh, Everything is right there from London, Chicago, SFO, Newark, IED, Washington. Uh, everything is clear, close to about one lakh rupees right here, right here. All right, so that's the amount of uh, fare that they will be paying. Uh, what is going on here? We also said that there are some Indians who work abroad, our green card holders, as granted, individual temporary suspension commission can also opt to fly out on these flights. People like them who are willing to pick, and also they can. Some people who are stranded in India, they can use this flights to even go back to those countries if they want to. India will begin flights to bring back Indians stranded abroad from Thursday in the first week, May 7 till 13. Air India will operate 64 flights to 12 countries on which you can expect to bring back about 15,000 Indians back home. Already about 2 lakh Indians all abroad have registered to return to the country. We do not know what the final number of Indians will return. It will be 4 lakhs. Yeah, that's a lot of people who are waiting to go back to India, and uh, you know, um, and this is a good step. Uh, uh, how many flights are planned? Uh, total flights planned: 64 countries covered, 12 number of citizens close to 14,800. And how many approximately? The survey is showing UAE 2,000, Saudi 1,000, Qatar, uh, Bahrain 400 each, Kuwait 1,000. Uh, oh man, Bangladesh, Philippines, yeah, how many in the US? Uh, 2,100 from SFO, New York, Chicago, and Washington, going all the way to Mumbai, and the body of the bunch. And it, uh, this is a good news, welcome news. And uh, you know, you should contact your um, uh, Indian embassy website to register if you have not yet registered so that you can be in the queue to, to board these, one of these flights. In the U.S., special flights will go to SFO, New York, Chicago, Washington. They will bring in this stranded these places to Kerala, Delhi, Chennai, Mumbai, Hyderabad, Hyderabad, Bangalore, Shinagar, Trichy, Amritsar, and Lucknow. Wow, I, I like this news. I wish I can apply. Uh, I do not know if foreign citizens like <laughs> can apply or not. Hey, but I love to go to India uh, if possible. This is, I guess, right now only for Indian citizens for now. All right. Thank you very much. Hey, this is in Times of India on printed on May 5th. Check a look. And this is good news and spread the news. All right. Thank you very much uh, for your time.